All right, so I'm about a, a bit out of breath here. Um, this is a big hike. Heading up to a good calcite spot, and on the way up, some fossils in the rocks. I just barely see the lines from the shell. We're getting close. Here's some more calcium deposits of some kind. Maybe bone or shell fragments. And these are in the rocks all around me. So we're getting close up there. Uh, you know, all this calcite was formed likely from water leaching calcium out of the shells. Oh, here's some more beauties. Nice shell patterns in that rock. Getting close. Return in a minute. Oh, okay. Now that I've caught my breath uh, from this horrendous trail, uh, hard to see the exact slope here, but this is a very steep hillside. There are lots of crystals even sticking out right here. Uh, I originally noticed this spot because there are pieces of vein like right here and the quality on the video is not really good enough to see or tell but there's like swirly lines this is almost like like quartz type material you know it's a little crystally as it is um, and when you break apart this rock this piece of sandstone on the lower half away from it you'll actually see the crystal formations on uh, either sides of these plates, if, if there are any pockets that have opened up, the crystals will be in there. There's a few crystals right here on the side of the rock, and again, let's see if I can focus more. Here we go. That's better. Uh, kind of hard to see. There's a few crystals like right in here, those weird little points. Um, this is all kind of like crystallizing material, but not as good. Um, and it's everywhere, actually. You know, there's some here. So you go farther up. Here's a whole crystal vein going back right in there. If you break apart that and get into the pockets in there, there'll actually be big crystals. There's tons of it crystallizing right here. And a huge, I don't know if you can see this big crystal vein, see the teeth in there, the points, goes all the way up. And where these pockets open is where you're gonna find the most material. And I'm already seeing a few good things in there. You know, and again, this goes everywhere. There's huge, huge veins coming down all around this section of rock. And as I was digging out a spot for my backpack over here, I actually noticed I had thrown a huge chunk of rough over here. Let's see if I can get close and get this focus. Um, but there's some nice cr crystal points right there of calcite. You can see the little surrounding pocket formation and all the crystals growing inside. And uh, when cl cleaned up, these are quite beautiful actually. You know, they're not your highest quality calcite, but uh, some of the stuff that had come out of this area is, is amazing, you know, and this is, again, old sandstone. It's full of fossils, shell fossils, uh, dating back, you know, probably thousands of years. And uh, all this rain has been leaching all the calcium from the shells down into these cracks. And it's been crystallizing over a very long period of time. Oh, sorry. Uh, trying to keep my balance on this hillside, but as you can see This whole vein that I've been working on Has cavities that go very far back down inside and there's probably a big open hollow spot in there And at some point I'm hoping to find something rather significant. So that's my goal today Okay, so we started to do a little damage over here um, Both to the rock and to bluing my hand up uh, You know I went and got some big boy tools and uh, they didn't come with a uh, IQ limit so uh, apparently I failed the test and now I have a pretty nice blue hand. Um, but I've gone and uncovered some nice crystals here that I'd like to show you. Uh, first of all, let's see if I can get some good sunlight on this. There's this rock and it shows a good contrast between the sandstone and then the layers of crystals so you can see them up there on top um, 
and how this vein forms directly out of the sandstone. You know, when you turn it around, it's hard to see, especially in the areas that are darker though, where there's like mud, that's pocket mud. And so there's some like, you know, triangular shaped crystals in there. Um, better example of this would be this piece. Oops. This piece here. And it's really hard to tell uh, because the mud is actually covering the crystals, but those triangular shapes, especially on this side right here, those are crystals. You know, and it's all purely out of vein. Here you can see them on the side. Nice, clear calcite. There's a nice big one right there. Um, and they're fairly dirty right now, but you know, it's too fresh and some water gets them cleaned up. Uh, this hill is so steep, I have to stash all the good stuff up top or it'll roll hundreds of feet down uh, into the muck. Uh, here's a good example of a vein. You can see this dark vein right here and it's coming down. Uh, this is all calcite. And then here we have an opening. And as far as rock hounding goes, when you're digging stuff out, this is exactly what you're looking for. The stuff inside, let me see if I can find a nice small stick to dig at it with, something sturdy enough. Um, this is pocket mud. It's really, uh, that was not a sturdy stick. Uh, this is actually, hold on one second, technical difficulties. This is very soft. You can just, it's like dust. You can take it out. But this forms in the pockets where the best crystals are. And the lighter the pocket mud, usually the better the quality. So we're gonna try and get that entire piece out in the best quality that we can. Obviously, there's a nice crack coming down here and down this way. So we're probably gonna try and take this entire piece out. And that may have some good uh, crystals on it. You know, this may have to stay intact because it's all one piece, and this is probably another separate piece. So unfortunately, oh yeah, it definitely is a nice crack going up through there. Fortunately, you're not always gonna get these out in the best quality, but we're gonna try and get as much intact material as we can in one go. All right, back in a minute. So I've managed to remove a few rocks. Um, the main goal here is actually to try to take out as much of this stuff when trying to get to this as possible and act like you don't want the stone. Um, and that's the, the best way to like, you know, cause as little damage to the actual material you're going for um, while still getting what you want. I'm gonna go ahead, you'll see here, of a, uh, Revealed some nice crystal structure on the side of the stone. And if you can see that pocket mud back in there, it's like nice and brown. Uh, that's where all the good stuff is. You know, most of the plates you pull out, there'll be some crystals on the side that are pretty nice, but you know, you're not gonna find those nice plates with the best looking fully formed terminated crystals uh, without that pocket mud. That pocket mud is key. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and focus the camera here and pull this chunk out so you can see. Now that doesn't look like much, but I promise you later when we get this home and clean it up, that that spot right there is gonna have some nice crystals on it. You can already see a couple right here on the side. That's a nice one. Um, but this is probably gonna be a whole plate and they may be small. Uh, I can feel some nice bumps in there though, especially right here, right there. Some good crystals in there. Um, but unfortunately there's so much of this soft clay like dust uh, that it just paints over it. And so we're gonna clean this up later and see what it looks like. In the meantime, I'm gonna get back into there because it's looking good. Also, this whole piece right here is one giant plate. And believe me when I say there's nothing but pocket mud in there. Um, this side too, though not as, as good. And this, I can already see, that is a giant crystal right there. This whole piece when it comes out is gonna be gorgeous. Um, and unfortunately a piece has already fallen off up here. You can see it there are some nice crystals actually on the other side from it. Um, so this whole thing is going to be an awesome plate. And the piece that fell off, hard to see exactly um, because of the pocket mud once again. You can see the whole chunk of vein from the side, but there are some nice crystals on this. Uh, especially right here, right here by my thumb. Um, again, once again, covered in pocket mud, extremely dirty. Uh, don't ever throw out these dirty pieces. You know, I've had friends that have checked out this material before and they're like, oh, that's garbage, that's garbage. And I'm like, wait, and I dunk it in water. 
run a toothbrush over it for a minute, and bam, just a whole plate of beautiful crystals, um, completely hidden. And that's one of the hardest parts about finding crystals out here is that, you know, all your good stuff's gonna be completely obscured by the pocket mud. Um, and I was lucky enough to, you know, find the signs here to, to know that I should be exploring more and digging more. Some nice rough crystal that's been falling out. Um, lots of little nice calcite crystals. This one, I don't know if you can see it. Super clear, super shiny. Um, just amazing material, actually. Okay, well, we're starting to make some progress here. I've been going at this for a while. This piece is being rather stubborn, and uh, one thing I definitely don't want to do is have these two plates compress, because calcite crystals are very soft. They'll just disintegrate. Uh, a couple things I want to show you. So then I noticed this vein is actually continuing, <coughs> excuse me, down below. Um, you can see my finger here. I'm actually pointing at a little pocket uh, that has some nice little teeny crystals in there. Um, and it's just a random little small pocket on this rock. But the pocket mud, if you notice, same color as the mud back in here. And this just keeps getting more and more full of soft material. Um, so I'm thinking that if I chase this back, and by the way, there's another vein running right up here down that way, and this one is running down along the bottom into the back as well. Um, and where they meet might be really good. Uh, just from seeing so much pocket mud back there, I'm starting to think I might wanna get more of this material out of here uh, soon after I work on this plate and, uh, and see what's back there. But in the meantime, I've been covered something quite lovely here. Uh, it's gonna be very hard to see because of this uh, awesome sunlight. But, this whole plate is crystals, oddly shaped triangular crystals, it's beautiful. So we're going to try and get that out right now, uh, hopefully in one piece. I've been trying to be as delicate with the rocks around this as possible, but you know, I'm swinging with a three pound hammer, so um, doing my best. Anyways, we're going to work on getting this entire piece right here, giant rock out and away from this side of the vein. And so far I'm doing pretty well. This is uh, also vein material, but it's uh, it's very low quality, so I have no uh, moral problems just smashing it to bits right now uh, to prevent any damage to this piece. So we're, anyways, we're gonna get started on this and uh, hopefully continue with that one out and in the sunlight for everybody to see. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take my glasses off. I'm a little, a little tired here. I did a little more damage. Um, let's see, is this gonna come out too? Oh no, some loose stuff everywhere. Um, the good news is, I don't know if you can see the pocket mud on that, but I finally uncovered this giant plate of crystals. Now, that's all crystals. It's really hard to tell. You can see some here at the top uh, for sure, but all this, the whole thing, and I mean, you know, size of my hand, like, that's a big plate of crystals. Uh, it seems to taper off somewhere back over here, but if I can get this whole section out in one piece, that's gonna be beautiful. And part of it already fell off, I already have it in the box, it's right here, it was already broken. Um, you know, there's, there's more plates down here. Starts getting really good down there too again. Um, First of all, I'm gonna work on getting this out. I just wanted to show you how excited I am that I'm pretty much shaking right now with excitement because there are tons of crystal structures on this. It's gonna be a beautiful stone when it comes out and gets cleaned up. Uh, hardest part will just be getting it out in, in one piece. So we're gonna do our best to act like we don't want it. Back in a bit. <laughs> 